Hello, I'm Laura Jackson and I'm here with Victoria Beckham on behalf of Self. We're just talking about your fantastic second collection with Estee Lauder. It's beautiful. Thank you. So the first collection was a massive success. You're back for round two. What can you tell me about it? You know, the first collection was such a huge success. Mm. Um, and I said right at the beginning, I wanted to create the key must-have items that every woman should have in her makeup bag. Um, and so I started with the first collection, which was focused and mm -hmm. small. Um, and I've just expanded. I've, I've added a city look, and the existing city looks that I had, I've, they've evolved, I've mm -hmm. changed them up. Um, this goes hand in hand with my fashion line as well. So the colours were inspired by one of my ready to wear collections. And uh, I've just been really lucky that because the first collection did do so well, I could then really start to flex my muscles mm -hmm. and bring in a mascara and a powder, you know, uh, uh, and those, uh, again, those key things that I know you can't find out there because as a woman who loves to wear makeup, I've searched everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what is new in this collection? I know you've added, is it Miami? Miami is a new city look yeah. um, to, to this collection. And then London, Paris, New York and LA mm -hmm. is different to the first time. So we've yeah. added a lot of new products to and update you, each look. You've got the four um, key products as well. This. Mm -hmm is so amazing. Can you please tell everyone about this? They need, everyone needs this. Everyone needs this. <laughs> they do. Um, this is Morning Aura. This was um, one of the first things that I made in the first collection, actually. And what it is, is it's a moisturizer, a primer, and it also tightens and lifts. So you can use it as, as a moisturizer, mm -hmm. or you can use it on top of your makeup. What I normally do is put a little bit on my, on my hand, and then I put it down the center of my nose, tops of my cheeks, mm -hmm. sometimes I dab it on my eye, a little bit on the bow of my lip, sometimes I even put it on my collarbone if I am wearing mm. sleeveless. This is a hero product for sure. People really, really like this. Mm. It's sold out very, very quickly. And the reason that I came up with this idea is I said to Esther Lauder, I said, you know, I travel so much. I get on an airplane from London. I travel 11 hours to LA. I get off the plane and I'm in front of a ton of paparazzi. I want something that's going to hydrate, mm. moisturize, lift, and give me a fresh, restful, glow if you like. Well, it definitely does that. And it does that because everybody's got to be camera ready all the time because mm -hmm. everybody is constantly taking selfies. So I've been able to take what I have learned, being in my position, being photographed a lot and, you know, pick up lots of tips and, uh, and really use those to inspire the collection. Mm -hmm. Do you think that makeup can change the way that you feel? Oh, 100%. 100%. You know, I started out talking about girl power when I was in the Spice Girls, and now it's about empowering women, whether that's through fashion or beauty. Mm. You know, I want to make women all around the world feel like the most beautiful version of themselves. This doesn't matter how old you are. This has nothing to do with body shape. Every woman can look beautiful and I know a lot of that does come from within but I think it gives you that extra bit of confidence that yeah. extra layer of confidence if you feel good and your makeup looks mm. good my mum always said if you feel a bit miserable just put on some lippy and it's true yeah. it does kind of lift you up a little bit doesn't it my mum used to take lipstick and she <laughs> used to before I went to school when I was way too young to be wearing makeup and because I've got olive skin in the winter I can get a little sort of peaky as she'd call it and she'd take her <laughs> lipstick in the 80s and she'd literally put it on my cheeks and she'd pinch my cheeks and she'd say you know there you go that's livened you up a little bit so uh <laughs> well, i love that even yeah even when i was going to school my mum was applying makeup to me what is your top beauty trick would you say um i think there are a few in this collection the eyeliner mm -hmm. is is a good tip because there's um there's there's the black mm -hmm. which um is very sexy and smudgy and that's my go-to red carpet look if you like sexy smudgy that's the london look and on the other end of it is a paler color um, and i would never have thought about using a pale color eyeliner but what that does is really open up the eyes mm. so i'll use the pale during the day and then the black at night also i've always been afraid of pink lipstick yeah 
what I love about this pink, it's it's the perfect pink lipstick and it's very youthful, it's very fresh. It feels very new as well. It feels like a new take on, on nude, if you mm -hmm. like. And what I often do is use the Victoria lip liner around the outside of my lip and then I will just dab some of this pink on the inside. And what it does is make you look like you have fuller lips than you have. Mm, I like that tip. I love a fuller yeah. lip. I'm always like trying to get a fuller lip. Perfect kissable lips. Oh, I like that. Um, what advice would you give your teenage self in terms of makeup? You know, I, I used to experiment a lot with makeup mm -hmm. when I was younger. And I look back, not necessarily when I was a teenager, but when I was in the Spice Girls, I look back at some of those looks that I pushed in the Spice Girls. You know, do I cringe? A little but I think it's great to be able to experiment yeah. you know and try things and work out what works on you I also think it's good to try new things so you can not get stuck mm. with the same look and yeah. that's why I've enjoyed creating these different looks mm. for customers so they can see an image and they can say actually that's what I want I want that Paris look and it's yeah. making it very very easy mm. for the customer so to try new things but to not wear too much makeup yeah I like how you can layer all of this. Like you say, you can go in and get a look, but then you can kind of mix and match. Yes. I think, like you say, just to kind of keep your makeup drawer fresh, that's a great way of doing yes. it. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Spice Girl makeup look, would you say? Can you remember one? Oh my goodness, I mean, favorite. Yeah. Uh, well, well you know, when I, was, when I was pregnant with Brooklyn and I was still in the Spice Girls, we did a video called Goodbye, and actually I had really short hair. I just had a short little pixie cut. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was quite nice natural makeup. Yeah. So that would be my favourite. But there's one that is the most hideous, and I'll tell you which one that one was as well. We went to the American Music Awards, yeah. and we looked like five men in drag. <laughs> we had so much makeup on; it was unbelievable. I look back at the pictures, and I'm like, whoa. That was a lot of makeup. I mean, we took the layering of the makeup to a whole nother level. Yeah, but that's why you know about makeup. So yeah. that, I think that's why this collection is good, because you really do know your makeup. Um, talk me through your signature makeup look. My signature look would probably be either London or LA. If mm -hmm. I'm in LA and I don't want to wear too much makeup. I have it on today. Oh, it looks very nice. Yeah, I love it. It's it looks amazing. very nice. Mm. I think it's very um, fresh. Mm. Um, glowing and so that really is you know the morning aura the nude lip um, bit of the bronzer which I'll also use to contour and with everything I use this um, this powder yeah. and this took a long time to create because I wanted a powder that closed the pores mm -hmm. um, something that also really smoothed out the skin and something that you could use when using a highlighter as well so this I use down the bottom part of my face, um, around my nose, around the chin, and on my forehead as well. And because it's so light, yeah. you can layer it throughout the day mm. without it getting cloggy. So this is one of the uh, hero products of the collection. Yeah. So this is this is part of my key uh, makeup look. And then you know, if I'm in London, I'll go with a London look. I like a dark, smoky, yeah. smudgy, sexy eye. Who's your beauty icon? You know, I really like Charlotte Rampling. Yeah. And I always get asked, who's my beauty icon? And, you know, I, she, she's not always the first person that I think of, but yeah. I was watching something with her in the other day, and I just think she's so beautiful. She has the most incredible mm. bone structure. Um, I mean, she's just, she's so chic. She's so sophisticated. Yeah. She's very, very chic, isn't she? She really is, and she always, you know, she wears the right amount of makeup. Mm. Have you ever been to bed and not taken your makeup off? Do you know I haven't? Because <laughs> I really, I, I haven't, I haven't. Oh, that's so good. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm like, why is there mascara all over my pillow? Oh, that's right, because I didn't wash my face last night. <laughs> well, mascara maybe, mascara <sighs> maybe, but I do like to take all my makeup off and put it's on so a good, good moisturizer. I can't be bothered, I'm so lazy. I just think, I just want to, those few extra kind of minutes of sleep, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what kind of trend have you tried that you've later on gone, oh, I kind of regret that? Um, I never regret anything, because I think everything was probably good at the time. Yeah. Um, Any trend, you know, I always remember when my mum had quite um, quite bright blue eyeshadow that was kind of 80s, I remember yes. that. 
Like that yeah. was kind of, I remember that being a trend when I was younger. Is there anything, I don't know, like a coloured mascara or? Actually, I can tell you exactly what it was. It was a lipstick by Avon and it was called Twilight Teaser. And I rem- I've never actually talked about that before. And I remember it because it was the most ghastly purple colour. But I loved it because I was always a bit of a magpie. Yeah. And still am, so I like a little bit of sparkle. Mm-hmm. And quite why I thought it was good to wear sort of a purple sparkly lipstick, I don't know. But at the time, it seemed like the right thing to do. But I was very young and experimenting, so it's okay. I'm sure you rocked it. Yeah. Um, three words that you would describe the Selfridges with. Um... I would say fashion, mm-hmm. um, fashion, sophisticated, um, chic. Yeah, very, very good, very good words. Um, if you had to be trapped here overnight, what department would you go and visit? I mean, I'd definitely, definitely be downstairs with <laughs> the makeup because makeup is genuinely something I've always been really, really interested in. Yeah. Something that I've always loved ever since I was really, really little. Mm. And even now I love looking at what other people are doing. Um, I've really enjoyed working with the different labs. I actually went to Italy and went to a makeup lab and was mixing up my own lip glosses and oh, lipsticks, wow. which was so much fun. I mean, I loved the fact they gave me a lab coat firstly. That was very exciting. But to actually learn um, you know how how things are made yeah. as well. So I I get stuck downstairs and I just have a play. How do you even start to kind of? I mean, because we talked about the packaging, it's so beautiful. Mm. Where do you get your inspiration from? With the first collection, we didn't have an enormous amount of time mm. to create new packaging because the packaging actually takes longer than the formulas that are right. inside. And so I went into the Estee Lauder archive and I found um, packaging similar to this from the 1950s which really inspired me and that's where I got the idea for the little tiny lipsticks I mean how cute is that little lipstick you still get the same amount of product that you would in a more modern shaped lipstick but they're they're dainty and I think that they're very they're very cute so so the inspiration came from from the 1950s Mm. Because I really wanted the packaging to be t- the perfect marriage between Estee Lauder and also myself. Yeah. So then I took that and I, you know, I changed the colour of the gold and I changed um, the material on the compacts. So I, I got inspired, took that as a base mm. and then added my sprinkling of fairy dust on the top. It is so, I, I would feel so proud to get that out, probably on the tube doing my makeup and being like, look how great my compact is. And that's <laughs> what I wanted you know whether it's fashion or beauty for my customer to feel really special you yeah. know and you would feel really special if you pulled that out on the tube yeah you would feel really really special and that's what I want my customer to feel yeah whenever she wears something or, or puts the makeup on yeah I think that the customer will definitely feel that right we've got some quick fire questions okay. make them fun the first thing that comes into your head okay okay your idea of the perfect Sunday Day at home with David and the kids. Favourite restaurant in the world? Carbo in New York. Favourite London pastime? Drinking wine, can I say that? (laughs) You absolutely can. can It's relaxing. And the song that gets you in the mood for a night out? Definitely one of my own. (laughs) Spice Girl song. Holler. Oh, that's such a good one. I love it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Third album. Um, The the book you'd um, happily read time and time again? Rebecca. The TV programme you'd like to have a cameo in? Empire. The best holiday that you've ever taken? The last holiday that I've just had with David and the kids in Napa. Yeah. Your guilty pleasure? Um, oh, guilty pleasure. Um, oh, gosh. I know this is meant to be quick, but I can't think of a guilty, ple- uh, guilty pleasure. Um, um, BBC dramas. Oh. oh, that's not guilty. Like a chomp or something like that. Like a, a, what? Cur- a curly whirly. A curly you know, there's like oh, do they still make curly they still make curly do they still yeah. make curly I think wearing? they're still like 15p as well. Really? Yeah. That's okay. mine. You can have mine if you okay, want. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, on your to-do list today. <laughs> to-do list today. So much to do today. Um, go to my store, mm-hmm. meet some customers, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to the airport and I'm going to New York, uh, preparing for my show, which is <gasps> on Sunday. Exciting. Your favourite person that you follow on Instagram? Uh, my husband. Oh. Okay, well, thank you so much. Congratulations. It's so wonderful.